Hi, my name is Isis Phoenix. I'm a sensual shaman, and I'm going to introduce you today to one of my favorite herbs in the whole world. This is an herb called oat straw. Its botanical name is Avena sativa, and this herb is actually where we get our oats from. And what I love about this herb, being a sensual shaman, is that it's when it's made into a nourishing herbal infusion. Uh, if you take it over a long period of time, it increases your circulation through the body, increases circulation through the heart, and also increases your circulation through the pelvis. It's a nervine tonic, which means it nourishes our nervous system. And if you look at the flowering tops of the oat straw, they look like little sheaths. So when we go to look at the plant's imprint of what it says, those sheaths are actually mirroring uh, the sheaths of the nerves in our nervous system. So one thing that oat straw offers us, as well as being nourishing for the nervous system, is it can also repair the frayed ends of nerves. When we think of when times when we have a, a lot of anxiety, um, or we're in you know kind of a, a high stress nervous situation, oat straw acts to repair those sheaths on the ends of the nerves, and in doing so too, it can actually make. Um, the skin of our body more sensitive. So more sensitivity also equals more sensitivity to a lover's touch that actually ex uh, makes us, well it calms our anxiety and uh, the stress in our body can actually make us more receptive to the sensory experiences that we can have in our body. Um, if you look at the oat straw up here, it's this wonderful kind of like sunny, green color. Oat straw grows pretty tall and it reaches right up to the sun. It's one of those uh, really like tall reaching plants that grows up out of the ground. And uh, when I smell it too, you know, of course you're smelling oats, you're reminded of, you know, hay and uh, horses and like the good smell of, of straw. Uh, growing up in Oklahoma, I'm kind of like an earthy horsey girl, so there's there's something in it that, that just, it, it just like brings one into one's sensual pleasure really easily. Um, yeah, there's always been something, I think particularly for women, young girls who are always attracted to horses with uh, the power that it gives us, you know, the ability to you know, ride something that's very powerful. It's often uh, a young girl's first introduction to having like a really sensual experience is with horses. So. Um, Oat straw kind of holds that energy too, as being one that gets the juices flowing for women. It can affect our endocrine system, and it actually starts to release a hormone that encourages ovulation. And doing so in the endocrine system, it also gets our juices flowing. I remember having um, just this week when I was uh, sort of on a, a oat straw regiment, uh, I had sat down. Um, in a, a chair to get ready in the morning, and I was you know, putting on you know, my body lotions and scented creams in a, a morning ritual. And I remember standing up, and I was just out of the bath, and literally uh, the oat straw that I had been um, drinking consistently for that week, there was just this like gush of water uh, and uh, vaginal fluids uh, that exited my vulva. And what it was doing is it started to just draw everything down there with increasing circulation and just kind of like really ripen up overall juiciness. Um, so women who are perimenopausal or postmenopausal can start to regain their um, you know, sort of like natural sumptuous juices by drinking oat straw. Two, uh, oat straw is also my absolute favorite nourishing herbal infusion to recommend for men. One of the things it does as men age too, as men get older, there becomes more uh, testosterone that gets bound up in the body and oat straw releases a lot of that bound testosterone. Um, you know, we get a lot of the sayings of, you know, let's take a roll in the hay or sowing one's wild oats from this really wonderful herb. So as well as circulating 
everything through the body, getting our juices flowing as well. Um, another thing that oat straw does is um, it has a lot of protein, a lot of calcium, a lot of amino acids, and it's a bone builder. It gives us strong bones. Uh, it can also repair some of the tooth enamel and rebuild enamel on teeth. And I'm going to show you how to make a nourishing herbal infusion out of oat straw today. So uh, to start to make our nourishing herbal infusion, I'm taking a quart-sized jar that just so artistically happens to have oats on it. <laughs> and um, we're going to fill uh, one cup, um, which generally equals one ounce of dried herb. So I've put the oat straw in the bottom of my quart-sized jar. I'm going to set this down now. Next, I'm going to pour boiling water over my dried herb until it's reached the top of the jar. Perfect, just enough water. Now, I'm going to put the top on, seal it, and I'm going to let that sit and brew for about four hours. This is Molly Brown, and she's a herbalist as well. And she's gonna let me know what she thinks about oat straw. Okay, so that's not her favorite form to take it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I actually do put this in some of her foods. I might sprinkle it on top, or I also might take some of the infusion and put it over some of her dry food, mixed in with some other herbs, and just give her the energy that she needs as well. Do you like that? Do you like that oat straw? No lick. No lick. Okay, after four hours, I'm gonna strain the herb out that we've created our nourishing herbal infused oat straw tea with, and it's ready to drink. The spirit of the plants has come to me in the form of a beautiful dancing green woman. The spirit of the plants has come to me in the form of a beautiful dancing green woman. Her eyes fill me with peace, her dance fills me